<laughs> Dragon fight announcement. Oh, I've not seen this yet. I've not seen this. New World of Warcraft expansion? Wow. Let me see. Get spoiled? Ooh, that does not look too hot. 50 50. What do we got? Dragonflight. I love dragons. Now the cinematics are the best part of the expansions. Top notch. The world has been sundered. It cries out in pain. We must go to its aid. We entrust our ancestral home to you, the Watchers. Let the land slumber, hidden, even from our own eyes. Rock, man. Got rock you will feel our return in the waking of the land. Then you must light the beacon of tear hold, lest the path home be lost to us forever. Pixelated. Okay, not so far yet. I'm waiting for the dragons. happening Am I supposed to know what this is? What is this light thing? Dragons! The dragons have returned!
The world is healing. But her fate is yet uncertain. Together, we shall be Azeroth's protectors once again. Here, the new age of dragons shall begin. Wow. Is that it? Literally no shields at all. What the fuck? Maybe because I don't know the lore anymore. What the fuck just happened? Is this your cinematic? A guy walking up? and connecting a wire not really hype honestly there was not a lot of hype in this uh google what Like, what is even happening? Okay, the dragons are back? What? Is there any information on the new to World of Warcraft? New racing class, Dra Drake, Drakirth Evoker. Very cool. Can you be dragons? Wow. That's kind of like a fur, isn't it? Visit the website. I want to learn a little bit about it. So what's new? Uh, explore Dragonfly. Let's see what's new. Uh, discover Dragon Isles. Dragon new place to go to. That kind of looks like Mordor. Have you guys seen the Lord of Rings? So it's about like destroying a ring and uh, Frodo and Sam travels throughout the world to go to Mordor to destroy the ring. And it kind of looks like that. If you haven't seen it, so they go up into the mountain, the volcano. You see that? You remember that? <laughs> Drakthir, how do you Drakthir? Drakthir, evoker. Choose your allegiance, intro experience, empowered abilities. Very cool. Nice. Can you have your own housing though? That's what I want to know. Ride or dive. Fresh game. New talent system. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. New level cap to 70. New raid. New dungeons. I mean, that's every time though. I don't know. Uh, I don't think I'll play it. Not because it's uh, bad or anything, uh, it's because I am uh, strongly against Blizzard taking a moral stand. Crap up. Preview of the new class, very cool. Like, well, before that expansion, when it was like Demon Hunter, you could like, you, there was some really new cool that you could double jump. You remember that? It was like so Hi, cool. I'm Jake. I wonder what you can do with Dracor theory. Maybe you can like fly. I'm Andy. I'm Kali. And That's I'm gonna Graham, be cool. And I'm really excited to talk to you guys today about the Dracthir Evoker, our new race and class coming in Dragonflight. We're here to talk about not only the Evoker, but also Dragon Riding, which is our exciting expression into the exploration that is, of the Dragon you. Isles. Getting bad. With a dragon themed expansion, we wanted to let you play a dragon. Not a big dragon, Alex draws a size. That'd be tough to fit into raids. I'm sorry, Jake. Okay. I know, I know. <laughs> it's fine. But a draconic humanoid. So the Drakthir, created by Neltharion. And like our other hero classes, you get to choose if you want to start on the Horde or Alliance side on character creation. So let's talk a little bit about the Evoker, the class they can be. Whoa. What's unique about it is because the, the Drakthir are created by an aspect, they have the ability to build good old days. of all five. Well, not every class could be every fucking race. Flights. So Evokers can take advantage of red magic and blue magic and bronze magic. And to show that, mm -hmm. we created a visual, what we call a prismatic effect. This prismatic effect is basically the coalescence 
of all their Why energy as they channel it Why into whatever spell banned? they're going to cast. You have or a red magic is... spell called Pyre. So when you shoot it out of your mouth, it twirls in the air with all five of the Dragonflight's magic as it turns into the red spell before landing on your enemies and exploding and hopefully burning them. And... I'll take that one. <laughs> <laughs> Getting that vibe across that they use all five was really important to us, but we did want to make sure that each specialization focused on two, because casting five different colors gets a bit messy. So their damage dealer specialization, their first of two, Devastation, mostly focuses on red and blue magic. Red being very fast and explosive, burning everything with pyre, whereas blue is more focused and overwhelming. You can shoot a beam of energy out of your mouth to disintegrate one single enemy in front of you. There's a what? healer spec <laughs> called Preservation. The healer spec you is going to focus damage. mostly on your green and your bronze magic. So your green is going to be evocative of the Emerald Dream, your growth and your nurturing spells. And then you have your bronze magic, which is going to be more timey-wimey. So you get to heal a wound faster. So in addition to the visuals and the animation, which all make you feel very powerful, we really wanted the player to have a physical connection to the cast. We have a new <laughs> type of spell called Empower, where when you actually hold down the button on your keyboard, it charges up the spell. The longer you charge it up, it might do more damage or hit more targets, depending on the spell. But it gives you this really physical connection and control that's new for World of Warcraft and I think is feeling really, really good. We have some great animations. Thank you, Andy. You're you love it, Andy. You feel physical when you're casting your spells. You can actually you feel fly physical? around the battlefield and cast while you're flying. Raining fire and death from above. It's great. In addition to the gameplay, though, another part of feeling draconic is looking like a dragon. Well, we talk about dragons breathing fire, but you know what's actually fire? What's actually These fire? These customizations. Oh my goodness. Hey. <laughs> but no, they're really, really cool. They're awesome. Because you have both your draconic dicks. form and your humanoid form. And the customization <laughs> Wait, options for what? both of them are amazing. They're very good. What but about color? Just tell yeah, me tell you us can about change the, the color. You can do a lot of matching. So your visage form mm -hmm. can have scales that are the same <laughs> color as your Dracteer form. But my favorite, super favorite part mm -hmm. of customization for the visage form, mm -hmm. hair. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I can actually do this in game. In ga yeah. The tech is here. <laughs> we finally <laughs> did it. What, As what players do you mean take, make their way you know, through each of the hair? areas what do you of mean? the Dragon Isles. What are they talking about? What? What are they talking about? Because yeah. I can actually do this in game. In ga yeah. The tech is here. <laughs> we finally <laughs> did it. As players hair make color? their way through each of the what? areas of the Dragon Isles, oh, do you mean they'll hair partner color? up with the Dragon Flights to move wow. through the air as they've never That's done cool. before. You'll notice I did not say flying. What? Flights to move through the air as they've never done oh, before. Really? You'll notice I did not say flying because <laughs> flight has a very specific meaning for World of Warcraft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. And, and we're talking about something new called dragon riding. And Ooh. as the uh, players are honing their dragon riding skills, they're going to get to see all new animations that go along with the different look and feel of the drakes. We're aiming to shake up movement with this new system, providing players with a deeper immersion with forces like momentum and gravity. We knew that for Dragonflight, we were going to have the opportunity to show players a whole new set of Dragon Isle drakes, completely unique from all the other things they've seen in World of Warcraft. Wow. And so we wanted to come up with a movement system that would add that sense of physics, weight, and gravity, like you were mentioning. What is we knew it was going to take a huge team effort, not just animation, but it was going to take effects. It was going to take the engineering team, who we rely on heavily. And that, combined with some new animations, really helps to lend that feeling of physics as you move through the air in ways that you haven't before. And the icing on the cake is going to be some really cool effects that we've added should on never top have of added all of flying mounts. So for example, Warcraft. when you start hitting you know, maximum velocity, you're going to see contrails coming off the edges of the wings. And then as you do your rolls and spirals, you build up more and more speed. There's going to be some screen effects on the display to indicate that you're reaching maximum velocity, <laughs> which really adds to the overall kind of immersion and sense of reality. As players make their way through the Dragon Isles, they'll discover new cosmetic options to fine-tune their Ooh, Dragon Isle Drake's appearances. No Things like snoots, horns, and tails, mm -hmm. elusive Dragon Isle Drake armor, and more. Can I have spikes? Definitely. Okay. We want to provide players with all new skills to play with, as those who can use their momentum well can reach higher and higher heights and bring on new, more difficult challenges. We just have so many new gorgeous options mm -hmm. to choose from, and I'm just so excited for all of them. I'm excited for the whole thing. I mean, it's been a lot <laughs> of fun to work on, but I, I can't wait to actually get in the game, play it with you guys. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait to fly around Dragon Isles. It's yeah. going to be great. <laughs> uh, it's always funny listening to companies talk about their products. 
best examples is phone companies talking about how amazing their phones are. So you're telling me so you can have a mount. You spent five minutes talking about a mount. Okay, champ. You have a mount that's slightly different. Okay, very cool, I guess. That's like 1% of the game. You cannot change your hair color. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Very cool, I'm very excited.